Unlock the joy, understanding the dance of happiness. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the beauty of the English language. Today, we're exploring a fascinating expression that captures a universal feeling, dance of happiness. This phrase is not just about moving to music. It's about expressing joy in its purest form. Stay tuned as we break down its meaning, usage, and how it can enrich your English vocabulary and expressions. At its core, the dance of happiness is a metaphorical expression. It doesn't necessarily involve dancing in the literal sense. Instead, it refers to a state of joy, elation, or bliss that makes you feel like dancing. Whether it's a piece of good news, a personal achievement, or any other cause for celebration, this phrase beautifully encapsulates the feeling of being so happy that you can't help but want to move your body in joy. While the exact origin of the phrase is hard to pinpoint, it's used widely in everyday English to describe moments of pure joy and happiness. It can be found in literature, movies, and casual conversations alike. Using dance of happiness can add a layer of vivid imagery to your stories or descriptions, making your listeners or readers feel the joy you're talking about. Let's see how this phrase can be used in sentences to enhance your English communication. 1. After hearing she had passed her exams with flying colors, she did a little dance of happiness in her room. 2. The moment they announced his promotion, he couldn't resist performing his own dance of happiness. 3. Seeing her newborn baby for the first time, she felt a dance of happiness in her heart. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to fit different contexts, highlighting moments of great joy and celebration. Metaphorical expressions like dance of happiness make the English language rich and vibrant. They allow us to convey emotions and experiences in a way that's vivid and relatable. Learning to use these expressions can make your English more fluent, expressive, and engaging, whether you're speaking or writing. We hope you've enjoyed exploring the dance of happiness with us and that you're feeling inspired to incorporate this joyful expression into your English vocabulary. Remember, language is not just about words and grammar. It's about expressing our deepest emotions and experiences. So, the next time you feel an overwhelming burst of joy, don't just say you're happy. Describe it as your very own dance of happiness. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning, and may you find many reasons to dance with happiness in your life.